Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some really exciting news for you guys. Now, lately the internet has been buzzing with the release of Green Poison and the continuous update of Green Poison, and now how it supports the Verizon iPhone. It works on all devices, untethered, 4.2.1, and it can work out of the box with uh, no required SHSH files, so uh, everyone has just been going crazy lately. Well, now I have some more great news for you guys. It appears that the iPhone dev team is already working on a iOS 4.3 jailbreak. So uh, Comax tweeted here yesterday saying that by not a real untether, I just mean that it only works for 4.2.1 users with 4.1 blobs. And then Muscle Nerd replied to him and said, and now one goal is to get Monty to untether 4.3 final using 4.2.1 SHSH blobs. So basically what this means is that the iPhone dev team is now trying to port Monty uh, actually to work with iOS 4.3. So as many of you know, you actually could get an untethered jailbreak on iOS 4.2.1 on uh, a Mac if you had your 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files saved. And uh, one of the main reasons why they didn't port it over to Windows was because it was a lot harder and because the Chronic Dev team actually did release a untethered jailbreak, which was Green Poison, that didn't require SHSH files at all. Well, uh, basically what they're doing with SHSH files is they're making it so they can technically like recycle the exploit so they don't have to give it to Apple which is uh, really nice in my opinion because uh, that way they can save the exploits that Apple doesn't know about for future iDevices so I just wanted to let you guys know that that's why SHSH files would be required so they could actually recycle the jailbreak and save their exploits for future devices so basically you guys should just be sure to back up your 4.2.1 SHSH files. Now it is already too late to back up 4.1 SHSH files but you can still do it for your 4.2.1 files. So uh, what you're gonna do is just go into Cydia and you can click yes make my life easier if you've never opened it up and if you've never actually backed up your SHSH files or you can use Tiny Umbrella. I have a tutorial on that so I will have a link to my video for Tiny Umbrella in the more info or you can use I S H S H it and you guys can look those up on Google if you want for more instruction on that now uh, another really cool thing that uh, was tweeted about actually today were the actual animated boot logos so I don't know if you guys actually saw them or not but uh, most of you who have jailbroken with green poison actually have Basically what it is, is it is a well animated boot logo. When you turn on your iDevice, it's just animated. And now basically they're saying that you can customize it. So one of the developers of uh, the Chronic Dev team said that boot animations are out in the wild for those who are lucky enough to be on IRC. For the rest of you, look for it tomorrow afternoon. So uh, that is a really good sign for custom animated boot logos and iDevice Daily actually posted a video of their custom animated boot logo so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play the video really quick and show you guys what it is and what it does so there is the Apple logo and then iDevice Daily just fades right over it it looks really nice uh, again it is a customized boot logo so there is the actual boot logo and then they go on further to go into settings and then actually scroll down and what they're gonna do is go into boot logo and then they have custom boot logos right there they have the Apple boot logo they have chronic dev team boot logo and the extras which are the ones that you can probably put in yourself uh, if you make them or if you can download them in Cydia then you can get them there so I hope you guys like this video just letting you guys know that uh, jailbreakers are pretty much good for iOS 4.3 and I was also letting you guys know about the customized animated boot logos so be sure to check my channel out uh, later on for those animated boot logos you can also follow my Twitter I update people more often there than I do on my YouTube channel because obviously I can't make a video on every little thing so again just be sure to rate this video up let me know what you think in the comment section below and subscribe. This is ICU, signing out.